So the other day, I uh, I don't know if it's the other day when you guys see this because this this could be like a billion years later. And uh, I installed a new external hard drive in my little computer, but uh, I was waiting because I needed an an, an enclosure. Uh, I ordered one and of course then just decided to use the enclosure that I had already. So this is the enclosure that I bought and I'm going to use this for the drive that I pulled out of my other computer, which is this little Samsung drive. It's little 500 gigs, but you know, for taking it with me wherever, need some extra speed, could work. Anyways, this is it. This was like the cheapest one that supported uh, 40 gigs and I believe it supports Thunderbolt. Uh, three and four. So that was kind of the biggest reason that I wanted to get it. And this is the, I'm going to pronounce this probably wrong. Avo. The who, who cares what it's called? Uh, I'll put links down below. Anyways, it's a big, it's a fairly chunky enclosure for sure. Uh, but what comes in the box is the enclosure. You do get a nice, probably I would, my guess would be a high speed USB-C to USB-C cable that, that would support the 40 gates. You get a little instruction manual. That's going to go over there. You get uh, a little heat shield. And you get, uh, my, I don't even know, maybe maybe some screws. Maybe some screws in there. Yeah, some little like spacers and things to, to mount your actual drive into the enclosure. And it looks like you get a little like service warranty thing plus uh, another another sticky deal. So we're going we're gonna to put that over there. These are the little, that's the metal enclosure and that's the sticky just for, for heat dissipation. Anyways, this is the enclosure itself. So of course we're, we'll give you a look at it because it is, it is got some chunkiness to it for sure. That is it. I actually like that. That's not bad. It's kind of, kind of nice looking. Uh, is it toolless? Would be my hope. Again, I'm having issues with things popping off because, uh, I hurt my hand the other day. So. This does have, it looks like maybe like a, is that like a pull tab? Aha! So it's just a little pull tab right there. So it's on the USB-C side. So that just pulls off. Very nice. And then you have the actual enclosure. Nice and simple. Key here is, is don't be expecting to get like internal drive speed. Like uh, the drive I put in my little HP, 7,000 megabytes is what it hit. It, it, it actually went over that in write and about 6,500 in actual read. So the other way, said just over 7,000 read, 6,500-ish for write. So very pleased with that speed. Anyways, uh, nice and simple. All we should have to do is we have the metal uh, piece here. We have the little sticker piece here. Uh, does this have its own little sticker on it? Something on it? Maybe it's just to keep it clean so it's, you know, it. Yeah, just for... For cleanliness, because they say cleanliness is good for that. I have a drive that I put, I just I just had it. Anyways, we're going to put that right there. This is a double-sided uh, sticky piece. All right, so that's one side's coming off. Very nice. We're going to actually just make sure we know what side that's going on. So that's going down this way. So we're going to actually just put that on top here like so make sure you don't get it so that it interferes with the actual prongs that have to go in and then this there's another piece on the other side pull that off yes line that up again so it's nice and somewhat pretty which is not what i'm doing anyways pretty enough and then we have our little metal piece here which we are again pardon my sore hand it's hard to it's hard to hold anything with that and this just gonna stick on top there so we're just gonna line that up yes lined up enough that's gonna do its job and uh after that we have the little notch there so this of course I'll make sure i put it in the right way because if not that's not gonna be great and i line that middle up probably a little bit too far forward well again you might want to do this a little bit more delicately than I'm doing it, but it also shows that you don't have to, you know, don't have to. So let's put that one down a little further toward the back. There we go. That's better. 
And then this little 45 degree angle, yes, should slide in nice. And then this should go down. And they give you these nice little pieces. So simply put, you put one side kind of in like this area. I don't know which way it goes. Maybe this way. Well, let's see. The other side should, there you go. Sweet. That's it. Right? That's it. We're installed. And then this, again, these parts here would go toward the back. So all we should have to do is, that's it. Uh, let's go speed test this. Now, uh, this drive internally uh, maxed out around 3,300, 3,400 uh, megabytes per second. So let's see if we can get close to that with uh, this cable on. I'm gonna do it on my Mac because that Mac actually has Thunderbolt 5 on it. So there should be no bottleneck with the system. All right, let's go, let's go take a look over there. Okay, so basically we have uh, the drive that we're gonna just plug in here. Now, depending of course on the drive that you actually plug in, we may need to format it for a Mac. This was actually formatted as an NTFS drive. So of course, because of that, we may have to actually come in, but first is let's just make sure this actually, uh, fires up properly. So let's see if it's in here. Uh, my book, let's see. No, 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 no. What is this? Windows. My guess would be, this would be this one here. Let's just get info on it and yep, 500 and 510 gigs. So what we're going to do is we are going to go into our, uh, not there. We're going to go into our uh, disk utility because again, you may not have to do this if you know what, you're putting it on a windows computer and you're just, you know what, you're like, yeah, it's fine. All right. There's my Macintosh hard drive, uh, which is the one that we're not going to play with. Of course. We have our Windows drive here, so we are going to uh, erase this drive. We're going to actually call it uh, Samsung because that is Samsung. That's not even spelled right. Sam, yeah, Samsung. I'll call it 512. Okay. Uh, we're going to actually format this as a uh, APFS drive. Oh, it says encrypted. I don't need it to be encrypted. Just APFS. That's good. And erase. Nice. That's done. So now this should come up on the drive. Nice and empty. Perfect. So let's actually bring up a black magic here for doing some speed tests. And we should get an idea of how this is working. So we're going to select the drive. We are going to pick that uh, Samsung drive and we're going to start. So not bad for reads, right? We're getting 2271 and we're getting about 1600 uh, through that enclosure. Well, I say that's pretty good. Again, this thing only peaked at around, you know, 3,400, I believe it was for uh when it was internal in that drive so the fact that i can get this you can see down here i should be able to pretty much edit anything in 8k 60 and almost almost in 12k except of course it was if it was an h265 because then it would have to be doing a little bit of decompression as it's actually uh working with those files but other than that we're we're rocking and rolling uh yeah i think that i think that drives do it going to do good. And I think that enclosure is going to work really well as well. So there you go, guys. Uh, uh, I'll put links to that enclosure. And of course, just realize if you are buying like an NVMe drive for this enclosure, that you really don't need to have anything any faster than let's say 2,500 or 3,000, because you're only going to peak in the low 2000s anyway. So save your money, uh, unless you feel that you may actually take that drive and put it internally, maybe down in, down the road in the future. All right, guys, that's a quick look at that new enclosure. Uh, links will be below, and that's it for me today.